Hello my friends how are you? Welcome to my new video tutorial. Today there will be a video tutorial on how to create a bootable Windows 10 USB flash drive, so that you can later install Windows 10 on your computer. If you previously had Windows 11 or Windows 8, in order not to lose your license, you need to follow a certain procedure during the installation process. First action. At one of the installation steps, the program will prompt you to enter a product key, but here you do not need to use an activation key, click, I don't have a product key, and continue with the installation. Second action. In the window where you need to select the edition of Windows 10, you need to select the same edition that you had earlier. If you had Windows 11 or Windows 8 Home, you need to select Windows 10 Home. If you had Windows Pro, you must select Windows 10 Pro, then you will not lose your license and Windows 10 activation will happen automatically. I insert the USB flash drive into the computer. And now I need to make sure that there are no necessary documents and files, because at the time of creating the Windows USB flash drive, all data will be completely deleted. You should know that a USB flash drive for our purpose must be at least 8GB in size, and as we can see, my flash drive is quite suitable. This can take quite some time and if you are installing Windows 10 on a laptop, connect your laptop to a power source before starting the process. Now let's move on to the next step, open your browser and in search right, download Windows 11. Or open the video description, and click the link to the Windows 11 download page. The Microsoft page is opened. Here we can get acquainted with the installation rules for Windows 10, and here we will download a special application to the computer, a tool for creating a bootable USB flash drive, and for this we will click, here. The application has been loaded, and our browser can be closed. Now let's open File Explorer, and open the folder, Downloads. Double click on the icon, and the application will start. Here you must accept the terms of the license. Accept. In this window, I choose to create a bootable USB flash drive. Next. If you uncheck the box here, in this window you can select the language for Windows 10. I left English. Now, this is important, the tool gives us a 64-bit operating system by default. You can change it to 32. And if you don't know which of the two architectures to use now, I recommend that you leave the value, both, because later you can choose what you need. Next. In this window, we can choose to install Windows 10 on a USB flash drive, or we can simply download the Windows ISO file to the computer. I choose to install Windows on a flash drive. Next. Here we see our USB flash drive, and click, Next. Remember that the speed of the process will be determined by the speed specified in your internet contract. Now we will wait for the procedure to complete to continue with our video tutorial. And so, we see right now, your USB drive is no longer in the wizard, and it's done, you just need to click here where it says, Finish. If you look here, open this computer in Explorer, then open the contents of the flash drive, and here we already see all the files necessary to install Windows 10 on the computer. So, in order to install Windows 10 on a computer, you need to restart it and call the Start menu. Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press, enter. If you downloaded a 32-bit and 64-bit Windows USB flash drive to the USB, then in this window you can select the operating system you need and proceed with the installation. I choose 64-bit Windows. Enter. The installation menu opens. I'm not changing anything here. Next. 
Install now. Here you need to enter the activation key, I used to have Windows 11 installed on my computer, and now I don't need to enter the product key, because the activation of the new Windows 10 will be done automatically. I click, I don't have a product key. If you had Windows 11 or Windows 8 Home, choose Windows 10 Home, if you had Windows Pro, choose Windows 10 Pro. This way you will keep your Microsoft license. Here I choose Windows 10 Pro. Next. I accept the terms of the license. Next. Click here to continue with the installation. In this window, we see all the partitions and drives connected to the computer. Here I have a partition with the old windows and three small system partitions. For the correct installation of the new windows, all these four sections must be removed, for this I mark each section and click, delete. All old partitions have been removed and you can now proceed with installing Windows 10 on your computer. Next. We won't have to do anything for a while, you can relax and have a cup of coffee or tea. The computer will automatically reboot several times. Please, don't turn off your computer. And just like that, all the Windows 10 files have been loaded, and now we need to do some configuration. Here you must select your region, yes. Now choose your keyboard layout, yes. Skip. I choose, for home use. Next. If you already have a Microsoft account, sign in, or create a new account. I'm going to create a local account. I like this name. Bond. James Bond. Next. I'll set the password later. Next. I agree to the privacy terms. Next. The new Windows 10 welcomes us. There is not much left. Yes. I did and now I have a brand new Windows 10 on my computer. I hope everything went well for you too. Now I'll open settings. system about the system and we'll see Windows specifications yes now I have a new Windows 10 Pro installed on my computer now I will open the section accounts and here we see that my Windows is running a local account manager and my account name is bond James bond let's open the section activation Yes, the new Windows 10 is activated based on my digital license. I hope what I just said can help you and if you found it helpful, please share my video with someone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for watching my video. Good luck!